Hello, this is Dr. Loach from humanbodyhelp.com and in this video I'll be running through the muscles of the torso model. Let's start with the muscles on the front of the torso model. This muscle right here is pectoralis major. We can see this muscle over here is the deltoid muscle. This muscle right here would be part of the trapezius muscle, the upper fibers of the trapezius muscle. We have latissimus dorsi right here. This muscle right here is serratus anterior. And we can see serratus anterior on this side as well. If I turn the model, you can see serratus anterior a little bit better. Serratus anterior looks like a saw blade on the front. You can see this jagged edge. It looks like a serrated edge. Hence the name serratus anterior. This muscle right here is pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor oftentimes gets confused with serratus anterior, so you should be careful not to do that. This muscle right here is rectus abdominis, and we would have rectus abdominis on both sides as well. These lines here, which create the six-pack appearance of the rectus abdominis, those lines are called tendinous intersections or tendinous inscriptions. They give the muscle extra leverage when it contracts to flex the trunk. I've zoomed in on this section right here so you could see the other abdominal muscles. We've got three layers of abdominal muscles on the side of the abdomen. The outer layer, with the fibers running in this direction, like this, this layer right here is the external abdominal oblique. The internal abdominal oblique is the next layer inward, and those fibers run in this direction. Okay? So you can tell the difference between these two layers by the direction the fibers run. Those fibers cross in order to make a stronger wall here. This section right up here with the fibers running straight across or horizontally, that's the transversus abdominis. Now we're looking at the muscles on the posterior aspect of the torso model. Here you can see the trapezius muscle better. You can see latissimus dorsi on this side. You can see some of the muscles attached to the scapula over here. Up here in this fossa, supraspinous fossa, we would have the supraspinatus muscle. The infraspinatus muscle is going to be down here with teres minor and teres major being these two muscles here. Again, this is teres minor and this one is teres major. You can also see the deltoid muscle here as well. Down here, we've got the gluteus maximus muscle and underneath gluteus maximus, we've got gluteus medius, but we also have the deep external rotators of the thigh at the hip. Okay. This would be gluteus medius, so the next one down, this muscle is going to be piriformis. And you can see the sciatic nerve coming out underneath piriformis. Okay. Then we've got the superior gemellus, obturator internus, and then inferior gemellus down here, and finally we've got quadratus femoris as well. Up in the back here, we have levatories costarum muscles, muscles that would elevate the ribs. We also have some transversospinalis muscles. Down here we've got interspinalis muscles here, and then on this side we've got the intertransverse arii muscles. So here we're looking at muscles of the face. This muscle right here is the orbicularis oculi, not to be confused with orbicularis oris, which is down here. Orbicularis oris is around the mouth, remember oral cavity. Orbicularis oculi is around the eye. Okay? Ocular refers to eye. This muscle right here is the frontalis muscle. We're also going to have the masseter muscle right here. Okay. The buccinator muscle would live in here. 
This muscle would be the rhizorius muscle. Right here we have depressor anguli oris, depressor anguli oris, as well as over here too. This is going to depress the angle of the mouth. Okay. This muscle right here would be depressor labii inferioris, depressor labii inferioris. This muscle right here would be zygomaticus major, zygomaticus minor would be right here. This muscle right here is going to run down the lateral side of the nose and attach to the upper lip. This is levator labii superioris aliqui nasi. Okay. The nasalis muscle would live right here. Over here, we would be able to see the platysma muscle covering the muscles of the neck. Underneath this, we would be able to see the sternocleidomastoid muscle right here. And this muscle right here would be considered the temporalis muscle. On this side of the neck, we can see the omohyoid here, as well as the sternocleidomastoid muscle underneath these fibers right here, which would be the fibers of the platysma. Here we have muscles on the side of the neck. This would be anterior scalene. This right here would be middle scalene. And then this would be posterior scalene. This muscle right here would be levator scapulae attaching to the transverse processes in the upper cervical spine down to the superior angle of the scapula. And then this right here would be splenius capitis underneath the fibers of the upper trapezius. This muscle right here is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.